Okay, officially this meeting is recorded. <laughs> is being recorded. Hello, Nicholas. All right. So, should we start with our... Yeah, our design? Yeah. Or should, should we first start okay. with our design? Cool. Ryerson, about your design. Um, you have the drawing when you have to, you can show them on the screen what we did. So. Uh, okay. We're just going to share the screen. Uh, yeah, we're going to just to show you some uh, things we have to change for your design, the Ryerson one. I mean, right. the structure, not the arrangement. Okay, so this is this is the plan of your first. Is it the first? No, this is the ground floor, and um, that should be the second floor or first level. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah, this is the first, the second floor, the first level, right? Okay, the issue is if we're gonna take this column out. We're gonna have to reinforce the beams that span across the lecture theater. That means we're gonna have to leave these beams in cantilever, because um, from what I understood from our professor, our structural professor, um, these beams cannot be attached to the existing columns and for this we'll have to demolish the columns from P to N. Oh. But the problem with this is that our professor Steve told us that it's not a good idea to demolish because it's going to be really really expensive and it's yeah. a huge negative point so the main idea is that um, we take this column in the from the middle of the room we will take it out but we will um, reinforce the actual columns okay there and we will put um, sorry we will place uh, beams across the, the um, across the lecture theater so yeah, do we'll have to do the outside. Sorry, you reinforce the outside of the the room kind of yeah. thing. Yeah, we'll have to we'll have to put additional columns and a transfer. Well, not only one transfer beam, but we'll have to put multiple transfer beams across the lecture theater. And I'm I'm not sure exactly how this will cope with the staircase. But anyway, you'll have. Let me open paint. Okay, we'll have to add transfer beams, something like so. How thick would those be? About 500 mil to 700 mil, some, okay. something in that area. Anyway, it should be less than 1,000 mil. Yeah. Okay, Le that Less works. than one meter. Or even, they would span even further. Because we'll have to, I mean, yeah, at the first floor, these beams will have to carry the load of the second floor. As well. Yeah. As well. I mean, like the third floor for you. So yeah. <laughs> any columns, any existing columns that need to resist more load due to your design will have to be either reinforced, either we'll have to include transfer beams like these uh, steel steel beams All right. we're gonna go full steel full yeah, steel. except okay, if you want to if you would like other beams or other other materials yeah you have to yeah if you have other preferences mm -hmm. just tell us and bubbles. Steel beams work. What about trusses? Would trusses do anything? Or stick with beams? Uh, trusses will... Won't trusses be bigger, I mean? Yeah. Will they? Okay. They will have to be a lot bigger. <laughs> and a lot more expensive. 
All right, beams are fine then. Yeah. We could hang the building. <laughs> but that's going to be even even harder and it will cost more, I think. Let's keep it cheap and simple. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, same. <laughs> that was our idea. As well. And uh, you see, because you um, you have the ruin so inside of the extension, and mm -hmm. there is a column this there. This column. So we will have to change the spans of you know between the columns. You can't actually build this close to the ruin, so yeah. we have to. It will affect the foundation of the ruin. Yeah, we'll just exclude this beam, this column here. And that's it. All right. Okay. All right. And uh, about about these three classrooms, do you think it would be possible to redistribute these areas so they so that they won't hang out of the building? Uh, again, it would it, it would be easier for us because in this case, in your design, we'd have to put transfer beams again to sustain the additional load this additional load could we is there a way to put like slender columns underneath it instead yeah but we just do still that? we'd need we'd need additional beams and mm, would this be enough I think so. We yes. can we can ask Alfred if it's a problem or not. Alfred. Okay, well, we'll go ask our professor. Yeah. Oh, by the way, um, you see the um, uh, question marks we put. Is that just an open area? It's just like the hallway. It's just it's like a. There can be workspaces in there. It's just kind of like a crush space as well with the stairs and elevator there. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. okay. So will you have something in there? So it's just just like open space without any. So, yeah, open space. We can put like furniture in if. Oh, okay. If we so, okay, okay. Cool, cool. No problem. All right. Yeah. Mm. When it comes to our, when it comes to our design, we did uh, we finished the calculations. We hadn't started the report yet, but we have the dimensions of the beams mostly. Yeah, the columns, not so much. And we have to do yours as well. Yeah, we have to continue with yours. And that's mostly it. This is our part. And oh, we have to decide for like for the logo of design. Yeah. yeah. OK, so logo, what do you have? We, we've been uh, doing the uh, yeah. risk assessment, sustainability, and costing for <coughs> design proposal one. Okay. Which is right. Um, which is, yeah, that the, the design we were talking about. So, in terms of now that you've told us about the, the columns needing transfer beams and stuff like that, we'll need to include that in our, in our risk assessment. Um, I mean, we you were you were saying for design design proposal two, you're going to want that by Wednesday. But I mean, for Coventry, are there any specifics like that that will affect? Let me let me open our design. Exactly. Hmm.
So slow. <coughs> All right. Okay, we're going to have transfer beams here, the same as we showed earlier. So, yeah. in front of the building, I, I didn't note the columns. But anyway, whatever's in front of the building will have transfer beams, new columns, and columns inside the building that are going to be... Uh, included in the walls so they're going to be yeah. internal columns all so right these are all new new beams being put in new beams and new columns whatever um yeah whatever stands out of the old grid it'll is, be new yeah it'll be new and most probably transfer. functional framing yeah well, yeah, this is, I think this is mostly it. And whatever is in the extension will be new columns, new beams. And we were thinking about including um, a glass facade to the building. You make it double screen facade. Yeah. It's double high. Yeah, and then I forgot about that, my sustainability bit. All right. <clears throat> yeah. And apart from these, uh, we were thinking about including in the extension solar panel roof. Yeah, I can do that. All right. Yeah, we'll solar panel roof and um, double skin facade, yeah? Yeah. All right, awesome. What, what's your extension? going to be made out of? Is it going to be brickwork or? The extension? I don't, we didn't think of that. Well, we'll should we just say, because Ryerson's was all um, glass curtain walling, wasn't it? Your extension. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. if we do yeah. your one, so yeah. we'll make it. Your one, so we'll make it. Yeah, uh, sure, sure. Whatever, whatever you prefer. If Whatever you find cheaper or suitable, I don't know. Yeah, just just this is just for our risk assessment. Okay. We'll define that. And that's what the, the building's going to be. Yeah. That's good. Okay. Um, anything else? Uh, Rarson, have you done the, um, the? Have you started on uh, Lowborough's design? Uh, we've started looking at it today and tomorrow. We're going to be figuring out rooms and everything. All right. Okay. Um, we have like a general massing of it. Okay. When you figure when you figure stuff out, could you send us a brief design so we could start looking at the structural bit? Yeah. As we go along, we'll send it to you. Thanks. Right. Present finished design proposals. Oh, by the way, um, uh, for the report, um, should like um, each of us uh, write um, about our design something, or just what we tell you, like how are, how are we going to do write the reports, like hmm? yeah. Michelle and I have already we've started the booklet. Okay. Like the actual the mm -hmm. rest of the report. Yeah. Right now we just have kind of like an introduction the way we did the massing and how the spaces are. Yeah. Are. So if you we at the next meeting we can show you what okay. we've done if you guys want to add in parts that can be done. 
I mean, like, if you need any information from us, um, you know, tell us. Oh, yeah. Like, anything, I don't know, dimensions, materials, I don't know, something, everything you need, just tell us, ask us. We will. Cool. Oh, just a sec, Michelle's here. So are we, are we, are we planning on meeting again this week? Do you think? If it's in like in weekend, I am okay with that. Maybe on Friday. Um, not on Friday. No, uh, not, in, not, in not on Friday. In terms of where we at Loughborough are at, design proposal one is pretty much done, isn't it, boys? Okay. Yeah. Can, can, you, send, can you send that to us then, so we can put it in? Yeah, yeah. We just got to make the adjustments from obviously what we've heard from today. Okay. Yeah. Design proposal two, we could we could have done by the end of end of this week. That's good. Yeah. And then in terms of um, uh, our proposal, you know, this is we're, we're following roughly the same template, so template, so yeah. it won't be too long. That's good. Cool. Perfect. All right. Um, Nick, you asked about the connection types to the existing building. We are going to use dampeners, so the extensions will not be connected to the existing building. We're going to have to use 20, 25 mil dampeners. Yeah, uh, it will have to be a space uh, between yeah. the, new, the extension and the old building because we can't put load on the old it, building. On the existing columns in, yeah. the, old, in the old building. Um, yeah. So these dampeners, um, they are like um, a foam, something like that. It's, it's like, um, I don't know how to explain, probably just can Google about this. Can you hear us, by the way? <laughs> Everyone. <laughs> OK. Keep stirring. But yeah, anyway. Just right, yeah. Just right. Oh. Yeah, I didn't mean to copy that in. Oh, oh. okay. <laughs> So that's it, mostly. Um, I'm not sure exactly how we're gonna do the um, the joints, the connections within the extension. If we're gonna use rigid connections or pinned beams, fixed or pinned, we're gonna figure that out. That, that, that's something um, you did. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so that's something we need to take care of. All right. Um, anything else? Uh, Loboro, you said you uh, do the cost? Yeah, Nick's doing the cost. Oh, okay. Uh, Nick, we were thinking of using hollow core concrete slab, precast hollow core concrete slabs. Uh, would you like to send you the leaflet? Maybe you can find... Yeah, from... Also, also Nick's going to need the, the internal floor area. Of... Like the total or yeah. each room? Oh, okay. No, total, total. Cool. All right. For, for all design, so. Okay. Yep. Good. Well, about the next meeting, do you think, um, I mean, should we meet on Saturday? I mean, should we meet? Or can we meet on Friday? Friday works better for me. At what time? Uh, I'm all free all day Friday. Okay. Here it is. Okay. Should we, should we just say four o'clock? 
we, ca mm, we can't afford it's too long. early for us yeah we, we finish at four o'clock so at 4 30 would be best yeah it works for me all right i'm not gonna be here so brandon will fill me in neither will sylvia yeah i'm not really sure if i will be here as well so but i'll try to make it okay all right and we'll discuss our progress then. Yes. Okay. Cool. Okay, guys, this is it. I'll see you on Friday. Yeah. See you on Friday. Cool. Bye, guys. Bye. 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 The organizer has ended the session, and this call will be disconnected.